Hey everybody, I'm Rob Terrio, and this is a screencast on how to create an automated attendance system. Now, there are some very sophisticated ways to do automated attendance uh, using RFID codes and student ID tags where they scan the, um, their tags when they come into the classroom. There's also facial recognition software that you can use. I'm not sure how prevalent it is, but this is a low-tech way of doing automated attendance until those other ideas become more mainstream. And I use Google Drive for this, and if you haven't used Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Forms, Google Sheets, etc., I encourage you to do so. There are some truly fantastic resources uh, for teachers who are interested in ed tech and these are great uh, things to work with for students as well. So you'll need a, a Gmail account to do that and under Google Drive I go to new, slide down to more and then choose forms and you can create online quizzes, surveys, tests, anything you want using Google Forms and it generates a spreadsheet automatically for you with the results of those surveys or test questions and so on this page I'm going to go to the title and I'm just going to call this attendance 101 so you would use your course, course code there and for the quiz, first question I'm just going to call this last name and it's defaulted to multiple choice but I'm going to change that to text and then I want a question for first name so <coughs> rather than doing it all over again I'll just hit the duplicate button and then change last to first and hit done and the form is just about done I want to make this a little more aesthetically pleasing so there are some themes you can choose from under change theme here I click this button and on the right hand side there are a number of different themes I'll just choose this one and so that's a little nicer visually for the students. Now I need to share this form with the students and so we can generate a link, a URL link, but I'm not going to actually share that URL link with the students because I don't want them to fill out the form when they're not even in class. Uh, I want to generate a QR code that they can scan when they come into class. So first of all let's generate the URL by hitting the send form button and then here's the URL here and I'm going to hit control C for copy and if you're using a Mac that's command C and then I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to generate a QR code now Google has a number of different free apps hundreds perhaps thousands of them and one of them is called the QR code generator so I'll click on this in the top left hand corner it says URL I'll click on that and then hit control V or command V if you're using a Mac and now I have a QR code so I right click on this I'm going to save it as an image and I'll just save it to my desktop and I will call this attendance 101 hit save and I can go back to my uh, automated attendance and you'll see that there's the form and then here is the responses sheet so let's go to the what the QR code looks like it's here I'll double click on it and I'll enlarge it and when my students come into class I'll have this displayed on the screen and they simply pull out their smartphone or their tablet and using a free scan app they just scan this and it will take them to uh, the form which looks like this and then they simply fill up the last name and I'll do this hit submit and then when you go to your Google Drive you'll see again the form here and the responses here double click on the responses it looks just like an Excel spreadsheet if you used to using Excel and it's time stamped which is fantastic so you know who came in on time who came in late if you allow people to come in late and has the last name and the first name and in fact as the students are scanning the QR codes and entering their last name and first name if you open up the sheet you can see the fields populate live which is kinda cool um, so that's how it's done and once you've taken attendance for one class I create one QR code for the entire semester for each course and once you have um, 
had them complete uh, the, the form for one class, what you can do is set it up so that um, for any subsequent classes, it will populate uh, a different sheet. So right now, it's populating this particular sheet, and it will generate another sheet on the side here. So in order to do that, uh, what you simply do is under the survey go to responses and change the response destination is what you select and that way you'll have a different sheet for every single class in the semester. So a really simple way to do an automated attendance. You are taking a bit of a leap of faith because you're um, assuming that the student will scan the QR code and put in their last name and first name and not scan it a second time and put the last name and first name of a student who is absent. Uh, but that could happen. Students aren't always honest. I know that comes as a complete shock. Um, so what you probably need to do periodically, and I'll do this during the break in the class, is I'll take a look at the attendance sheet and um, see if there are any names on the list who are not, in fact, in class. So that's one simple way of doing automated attendance, and there are other much more sophisticated ways, but uh, this is an easy way, and I hope this was helpful.